Hey, this is Greeny. It seems like the Spurs are playing for a lottery pick. We'll discuss the NBA tomorrow morning at 10 on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. Welcome back to Halftime with Mike Jimenez on San Antonio Sports Star. UIW football was victorious last weekend, beating Northwestern State 66-7 to and clinching the Southland Conference title. We have head coach G.J. Kenny with us. Congratulations on your, on your conference title. I appreciate that. It's a big deal. I mean, you went into hostile territory. You, you took on a very, very good team. And to go out there and to destroy them 66-7 to is a very, very big deal leading going into the playoffs. Yeah, it was. I thought our guys came out and they knew the importance of the game. They played well. That the the coaching staff on both sides of the ball, you know, put together a good plan for our guys, and it was good to go out there and win a conference championship for these seniors, and and uh, you know, really uh, end those guys on the, on a positive note, and and obviously knowing we have a, a lot more football left. Now UIW finished the regular season at ten and one again, won the Southland Conference title. Um, you know, you guys have that whole event where they have the the uh, drawing if you will, as to who's going to be ranked and seeded in the tournament, okay? So the FCS, the way that FCS football works, for those of you who don't know, uh, is that they have a, a real championship. I mean, it is a tournament. It's kind of like March Madness where all these teams come together and you got to buy. You guys are ranked number seven out of the 24 teams that are out there. The top eight got to buy. How important is it to get that buy? It's huge. Uh, you know, we get a little bit of rest this week. Um, we're still practicing, kind of staying fresh and staying sharp, but getting that, that bye week is huge. And then also um, getting home field, uh, that second game mm -hmm. where we play either Elon or Furman. So that was big. And, uh, you know, there were some butterflies that morning. I, I thought it was a really cool experience. It was my first time kind of going through that. And uh, I thought it was awesome. I thought, you know, I think FBS football should actually do that, to be honest with you. I, I think it's really cool. It's exciting. It adds some uh, every game, uh, you know, means a lot. Now you had that selection show. So you're watching it on ESPN and you're waiting for your name to be called. What was it like being together as a team to have that moment together? Yeah, no, it was really cool. We got the guys in there and in the team room and, and we were watching it. And when, when they announced number six, I was, you know, I actually took my eyes down like, man, we're not going to get the first round by. And then they called <laughs> her. So I didn't actually get to see it, but I, saw, I heard everyone's reaction and the guys went crazy and, and uh, just really excited for those guys, man. They they put in the work and and uh, they get a first round buy and top eight seed was huge. So are you disappointed with seven? Because if you close your eyes at six, to me that tells me that you guys thought that you would be ranked higher. Yeah, I, I I thought we'd be a little higher, but it is what it is. I'm just glad we got a buy. Well, because you have the rankings that came out, the the polls that came out that had uh, UIW even higher, I believe at number five. Is there a little bit of motivation there? There's always the need for bulletin board material, right? Is there ever that need to have that motivation there that says, you know what, seven, it's kind of disrespectful. Yeah, I think we have a chip on our shoulder um, at all times. I think that's just kind of how we're wired over here. And and uh, I think we're, we're excited for the playoffs. Um, you know, we're going to have a quality opponent, you know, coming to the nest on December 3rd. So we're really, you know, focused on that and excited about that. Now, how many wins? That's like four wins that are needed, right, to uh, win the championship there. I believe so. How do you get the team focused and say to yourself, okay, this is the real deal. This is the best of the best. Don't get me wrong. You went through Southland Conference, had one loss in the in the conference, uh, but now you're playing the best of the best in the FCS ranks. How do you maintain that focus and get this team, you know, on point for this upcoming game, whoever you play, whether it be Elon or Furman? Yeah, I think we have a, a great group of leaders. Um, we got a great coaching staff that that know the importance of each and every game. And and uh, to win a national championship, you got to go one and zero each week. And, and that's kind of been after that Sea Law game. That's kind of what uh, you know our motto has been. So um, our guys will be ready. Uh, we're having you know our first uh, day of practice this morning. Guys are ready to go, and we're not focusing too much um, on either team right now. Really focusing on ourselves and making sure our guys are just staying sharp. Talking to UIW head football coach GJ Kenny. UIW won the Southland Conference 10-1 and record in regular season, now making their way to the playoffs. They're going to play the winner of Furman and Elon. Furman has won six games in a row, 9-2 and record. Elon is 8-3, and three, have won the last three games. 
knowing that these teams are coming in hot, whichever team that it is, um, the importance of having this game at home and, and, and to drive home the point that you guys need some fans out there. Yeah, there's no doubt. Uh, two quality opponents. We'll see, you know, after Saturday who we get to play. But uh, having, you know, home field advantage, we need, we need to pack the nest. And, and our, our guys play really, really well at home. So um, definitely excited about playing that home game. Now, this is your first season as head coach ever, right? In, in any rank, you've been an offensive coordinator at other uh, institutions. And, and, and you have some NFL experience as well. Uh, to look back at this year, your first year and going through this whole success and having this whole experience of bringing this team together, which was successful last year, had a successful year last year. So you inherited a good program, but to take it to another level, what does it mean to you as a person, as a man, as a coach to have this experience with this group of young men? Uh, I think, you know, I'll be able to reflect maybe after the season. It's hard for me to do that right now. It's more of one of those, you know, I'm, I'm still, you know, come straight on, on what we have, you know, every day. I got a lot of stuff going on uh, being the head coach here. So um, it, it, it's been fun. It's been exciting. Uh, but I know I have a lot of help. Got great coaches, got great players. That always makes things easier. Again, the first round of the playoffs, not this weekend. Actually, it's going to be the second round of the playoffs. It's going to be next weekend at UIW. I hope a lot of people show up to that. I want to go to that game. I will let you know it is my wife's birthday. So I may not be able to. I'm going to see if I can drag her out there. She might uh, She might take part in that. But I, I find this whole experience to be unique because you take a look at UIW football, UTSA, and Trinity. The three of you have remarkable seasons going on each and every year. And do you find that to be interesting on the recruiting trail, knowing that these other schools in San Antonio, whether it be UTSA, Trinity, or UIW, that you guys are having super successful years all together? Yeah, I think it's awesome. Uh, you know, I, I pull for those teams each and every week. I look at their scores and and, and check them out. And, and their coaching staff has done a tremendous job. And we have a great, uh, you know, fan base here in San Antonio. A lot of great uh, local players. Um, and, and I think now they're starting to to get the national and state recognition they deserve. And and uh, you know, we're we're excited to be able to recruit uh, local talent as well. One last question: How's the recruiting going? It's going really well. Um, you know, the success we're having on the field and in the classroom really translating to the, uh, you know, the recruiting trail and, and uh, getting some really quality players in here and, and signing days coming up, the first signing day. So I'm excited about that. That is UIW head football coach G.J. Kenny. Again, congratulations again on making the playoffs, getting that seventh seed, getting that by. The playoff game is going to be against either Furman or Elon at Incarnate Word. It's going to be Saturday, December 3rd at 1 p.m. Hope everyone can make it out there. Congratulations again. What a fantastic season. And I hope these conversations continue for the next three or four weeks because that would be to a national championship. I appreciate it. Likewise.